uh, or we are going to answer these questions. And Hagar al Hiwar Awalan, Shirab al Azza, I think that we have explained the meaning of the new words. Sharahna Ma'ali Kalimat al Jadida, who Tabakat al Lijaba ala al Asila. Mana Hagar al Hiwar Maratania, when Jab ala al Asila. Tamam. Ayba. Where uh, do you come uh, from, John? Where do you come from, John? Uh, John, I come from Scotland, from uh, Dundee. Uh, do you live in Dundee? No, I don't. I live and work in London. Do you live with friends? Yes, I do. I live with two friends. Where do you work? I work in an Italian restaurant. Do you like Italian food? Do you like Italian food? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Do you drink Italian coffee? Uh, yes, I do. I like coffee, but I don't drink tea. Do you like your job? Uh, no, I don't. I want to be an engineer. Do you speak Italian? Uh, no, I don't. I speak Spanish and French. Uh, now we are going to answer uh, these uh, questions. We have question number one. Question number one says, where does John come from? Where does John come from? Where is he from? John. Italia. Him where, where is he? Yeah. Italia, Italia. He's from Italy. Where do you come from, John? He said what? I come from. He comes from Scotland. From oh, Scotland. Scotland. Sorry. Yes, he comes from Scotland, Scotland from Dundee. He comes. He comes from Scotland, from uh, Dundee. Question number two. Where does he live? Where does he live? Where does he live? London. Uh, he London. lives in London. Yes, he lives in London. He lives in uh, London. Three. Does he live with uh, his family? Does he live with his family? Uh, does he live with his family? Yes or no? He, is, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Question four. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Italian. In Italian. He does uh, in Italian. In Italian. He works in, in an Italian, Italian restaurant. restaurant. works in an Italian uh, restaurant. 
Okay, question number five. Uh, uh, what does he he want to be in the in the future? Uh, what does he want to be in the future? He, he wants to be an engineer. Yeah, he wants to be an engineer. He wants to be an engineer. How many uh, languages uh, does he speak? How many languages does he speak? He speaks two languages. Uh, uh, he, is, he speaks uh, Spanish and French. Yes, how many? Yeah, two many. About number two. Two. Uh, two. Two languages. He speaks two languages. Yeah. Spanish and French. So these are our where does John come from? He comes from Scotland, from Dundee. Uh, where does he live? He lives in uh, London. Uh, does he live with uh, his family? Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, where does he work? He works in an Italian restaurant. Or what does he want to be in the future? He wants to be an engineer. How many languages uh, does he speak? He speaks to uh, languages. Uh, here, exercise C, make T for true or F for false. And then بعض الجمل هو بعضها صحيح والبعض الآخر خطأ. T for true, true بمعنى صحيح. F for false, اللي هي false بمعنى خطأ. يعني حقول بعض الجمل، بعض هذه الجمل صحيح وبعضها غير صحيح. إذا كانت صحيحة we are going to write T. Uh, and if it is not uh, uh, true or, or it is false, we are going to write F. طيب sentence number one. Uh, John comes from Scotland, from Dundee. Is this sentence true or false? True. True. He comes from Scotland, from Dundee. So I'm going to write T. Type two. Uh, he works in Dundee. He works in Dundee. False. False. He works in London. Uh, he works in an Indian restaurant. He works in an Indian restaurant. Is it true or false? Does he work in an Indian restaurant? False. He works in an Italian restaurant. Yes. F. He works in an Italian restaurant. He likes coffee. Is it true or false? He likes coffee. True. True. He likes coffee. Tea. Uh, he speaks Spanish and Italy. False. False. Spanish he speaks and French. Spanish and France and uh, uh, French. So it is F. He said I speak to uh, I speak to language uh, Spanish and French, not uh, Spanish and Italy. Okay, so John comes from Scotland, from Dundee. T. He works in Dundee. F. He works in an Italian restaurant. F. He likes coffee. T. He speaks Spanish and Italy. F. Uh, now we're going to listen five. Listen five. Uh, we are going to talk about everyday activities. Everyday activities. We are going to, to talk about time. How can we tell the time? How can we tell the, 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 the time? Uh, here, everyday activities. Everyday means what? Uh, daily or something that, that is uh, happening or done every day. Activity, 
Here it means a situation in which uh, something is uh, happening. It's an activity. How can we tell the time? To tell here means what? To give information about uh, something. How can we tell the time? As we know, time, uh, what is measured in minutes, hours, uh, days, etc. Uh, uh, the line shown on a clock is an hours. Time, but to talk about the hour, the time, the hour, minute, uh, second. Uh, yes, how can we tell the time? If uh, someone or somebody is uh, Ask me about the time. How can I tell the time? Kefana Ochberan. Here, as you see, here we have different times. Yeah, listen to the teacher and uh, repeat. Here, this is uh, the, the hand of, of hours. And this is a hand of minutes, أقرب الدقائق. Okay, the hand of minutes, أقرب الدقائق. The hand of hours, اللي هي أقرب الساعات. When the hand of minutes in twelve and the hand of hours in one, that means what? That means the time here. Uh, it is one o'clock. It is one o'clock. What do you mean by the word o'clock? O'clock, uh, it is used with the numbers one to twelve when telling the time to mean an exact hour. Exact hour. Yeah, one o'clock plus wahida or sharp. When the hand of uh, hours in 12 and the ha sorry, the hand uh, of minutes in 12 and the hand of hours in one, that means it is one o'clock. And Sawahda Tamaman. Okay, here, yeah, yeah, the hand of hours or minutes in 12 and the hand of hours in five. That means what? That means it is. Five o'clock. It is five o'clock. He has a hand of minutes in twelve and the hands or the hand of hours in ten. That means it's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. But you see here, the hand of hours is in four. And the hand of minutes is in six. Here it is four thirty. Four thirty. Here I can read the time in uh, three different ways. يعني أنا هنا ممكن أقرأ الزمن بثلاث طرق مختلفة. I can say it is 4.30. 4, as you see here, الساعة 4.30 اللي هي 30. هي 5 minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. يعني الساعة 4.30 دقيقة. هذه طريقة. You can say it is 4.30. Or I can say yeah, it is uh, 30 past four is 30 past four yeah 30 past four or 4 30 or i can say it is half half past four half past four so here i read the time in three different ways أنا قرأت الزمن بثلاثة طرق مختلفة. I said it is four thirty or is thirty 
past. 30 past for or it's half past four. Half past four. Here we have three different ways. Okay. You can say it is 430 or uh, it is it is have have you know, have past four or you can say it is thirty past four. Is or is four thirty is the first way. Or you can say it's uh, half past four. This is uh, the second way. Or you can say it's thirty past four. Uh, this is the third way. How do you play? Uh, so here I read the time uh, in, in, in three different uh, ways. Okay, here uh, we have uh, the hand of hour is in one and the hand of uh, minutes in uh, three. Here I'm going to say here also I'm going to read the, the time in three different ways. I can say it's quarter past one. Quarter, you know, you what do you mean by the word uh, quarter? Quarter, here, yeah, a period of 15 minutes. Period of uh, 15 uh, minutes. Either before or after hour. قبل الساعة أو بعد الساعة. يعني 15 دقيقة. هي عبارة عن فترة. يبقى 15 دقيقة. نقول quarter. Quarter يعني ربع. Yeah, it is quarter past one. اللي هي واحد أو ربع. ممكن أقرأ بثلاث طرق زي سيد. The الأولى. you can say uh, it is 15 past 1. It is 15 past 1. Past one. Or you can say it is when. One fifteen. It's quarter past one. Regal Ula. It's fifteen past one. Regatania. It's one fifteen. Hadi Regatania. So also here I read it in three different ways. Is it clear? Okay, uh, go to this here. Uh, the hand of uh, hours is in three, not here in four, not in four. Here it is in three. And the hand of minutes is in uh, nine. That means what? It is quarter to four. Quarter to four, yeah, we two in a man illa. In a two bimana illa ish sa arba illa roba. I tabaka roba sa and sa arabia. Here muscle in the amphitalita in tabaka to a sa in a sa arabia. It's quarter to four here. Or I can say it is, it is 45. 45 past three. Yeah. 45 past three. Yes, 
ثلاثة وخمسة وأربعين دقيقة or you can say three forty five it is three forty forty five here also I read uh, the time in three different uh, ways. The first way is it's quarter to four. The second way is for five, three. The third way is uh, it is uh, three forty forty five three forty five. Now here. Uh, the hand of hours is in 10 and the hand of minutes is in uh, 5. That means what? It's 10 25. 10 25. It's 10. 25 or I can say it is 25 25 past 25 past 10 yeah I read the time in two ways the first way it's 10 25 or it's 25 past 10 yeah eight in in Sorry. two different ways okay here uh, it is 12 o'clock is 12 o'clock. Yes, sir. Sharp. Okay. So uh, I can uh, read or I can tell uh, the time in uh, many different ways. Many different ways. When uh, somebody uh, asked me to tell in the time you can say it is uh, one twenty or twenty dot one etc so these are the the different uh, ways how to ask about time yes uh, if somebody asks you to tell him the time uh, what are you going or how can how can uh, we we ask about time and give ness what also here we have three different ways we have three different ways uh, to ask about time you can say uh, what's the time please this is the first way if you want to ask someone about the time you can say what's the time uh, please or you can say uh, what time is it please what time is it, please? Or you can say, tell me the time. Tell me the time, uh, please. These are the three different ways to ask about time. Is it in the three ways to ask about time? You can say, what's the time, please? Or what time is it please or tell me the time please if i ask what time or what time please i can say it's nine o'clock for example uh, thank you very much what time is it please it's 3 30. it's 3 30 or tell me the time please six o'clock هي انت تشوف الطريقه السهله بالنسبه لك ايزيست وي 
the, the easiest way that you are going to use. شوف الطريقة اللي أنت بالنسبة لك سهل أو سهلة تستخدم هي. سواء كان السؤال عن الوقت أو الإجابة على السؤال عن الوقت. Clear. دكتور. Yes. الحين عندنا إذا كانت الساعة وربع ونص وإلا ربع لها ثلاثة طرق للإجابة صح؟ Yes. إذا كانت بينها أي إذا كانت يعني وعشر دقائق وعشرين دقيقة هذه لها طريقتين فقط صح؟ ممكن يستهز ويز yes. شكرا. Okay thank you. وعرفنا كيف طريقة السؤال عن الوقت كيف تسأل عن الوقت زي ما قلنا برضو you have three different ways عندك ثلاث طرق ممكن تستخدمها للسؤال عن الزمن uh, what's the time please or what time is it please or tell me the time please uh, now we are going to talk about uh, Ahmed's everyday activity Ahmed's everyday uh, activities هي yeah. عندنا النشاطات أحمد النشاطات أو اليوم اليوم بتاع أحمد بيكون شكله كيف؟ يعني مما يصحو من النوم إلى أن ينام مرة ثانية النشاطات التي يقوم بها خلال اليوم the activities that he, he does during the day during the, the day here we are going to see these activities here he said yeah, I get up at six o'clock so yeah he gets up at six o'clock uh, uh, what does he do then uh, yeah, he said i have breakfast at uh, as i said here you have three different ways to read the time and in the talatha turuk li as-su'al an aqsud li li qira'at hadha az-zaman you can say it is uh, 6:30 or uh, 30 past uh, 6 or you can say it is half past 6 tashuf at tariq al-ashal wa tajribih al-waqt so he has breakfast at uh, 6.30. Type so after that, بعد ما تناول وجبة الإفطار. He said, I go to school. Go to school at 7. ممكن أقول 7.15 or 15 past. Seven, seven, fifteen, or fifteen past seven, or quarter, quarter past seven. طيب. After that, he 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 said, "I have lunch. Have lunch at." 12:45, or you can say quarter to one, quarter to one, or 45 past 12. After that, he said, I leave school. I leave school at uh, 2. 40 or 40 past 2 or 20 to 3. 20 to 3. After that, he said, I get home at 3 o'clock. To get means to reach. يعني يصل البيت الساعة الثالثة. After that, he said, I do my homework. Homework here. Here. The assignments uh, that uh, teachers uh, give uh, uh, to students so as to do uh, them at home. Homework or assignments. Wajibat. 
تمام هو بيؤدي واجبه هي سيد دو هور 9 o'clock and after that he he said I sleep at 10 10 or 10 past 10 you know في الساعة العاشرة وعشرة دقائق okay uh, so I'm going to to stop here uh, we are going to meet again إن شاء الله at 7 o'clock فما فيش حد يطلع انا راح اخذ التحضير تمام يا شباب معي 58 ما فيش حد يطلع اخذ التحضير اوكي يا شباب ندخل على نفس الرابط على نفس الرابط نلتقي الساعة سبعة إن شاء الله باي باي اوكي باي باي دكتور دكتور سي
السلام عليكم